Amida, der Hanum, die Manze. We are here to talk about the March 1st movement, also known in Korea, Samita. March 1st is the movement of when Korea stood up against Japan for their freedom. Many Korean protesters tried and attempted to make boycotts, which they were unable, which the Japan were unable to control. In all, the, in the independence group, more than 1,000 protests they held, in which two million civilians took part of. The estimated number of beating and torturing is a terrifying 7,500. In which people died from along with 46,000 arrests. This is why we should celebrate Samhita, or the Korean movement, on March 1st. Dan, Tommy, Mata! Hi, my name is Daniel, and today this is the March 1st movement. On March 1st, 1919, in Seoul, South Korea, a group of independence activists decided to protest on the streets. Several were arrested and tortured. This inspired others to join in. One of the more famous people in the March 1st movement was someone named Yu Guan Sun. This is Yu Guan Sun, and this is who she is. Yu Guan Sun was an independence activist during the protests against Japan. She was only 16 when she started protesting, but died at 17 in prison. The worst thing about the March 1st movement, nearly 50,000 were arrested. 15,000 wounded, nearly 7,000 people killed. Hi everyone, um, I hope you enjoyed this. This took way too long to make, and bye. The March 1st movement was an important, famous, and peaceful protest in the early 1990s in Seoul, Korea. The protest got started by Koreans that called for independence from the Emperor of Japan. The people that partic participated and for which thousands sacrificed to their lives. About 7,500 people were killed by Japanese soldiers and police. 16,000 were wounded, 715 private houses, 47 churches and two school buildings were destroyed by fire, and 46,000 were arrested. Then one day, on August 15, 1945, Koreans finally got their independence when Japan surrendered in the Pacific War. 1919년 3월 1일 시민들의 3월 운동과 함께 탑골 공원을 시작으로 전국에서 독립 선언문이 발표되었습니다. 모든 국민의 권리와 자유를 주장하며 국제 사회에 도움을 청하였습니다. 독립 선언문으로 국민을 일으킨 날 3월절 대한 독립 만세 운동 시작의 날 3월절 대한민국 임시정부 수립에 이렇게 한 3월절 김구, 안창호, 유관순 등 독립 운동가들이 헌신한 3월절 그러기에 오늘의 자유와 평화에 닿았습니다. 그들의 희생과 투쟁을 마음 깊이 새기며 자랑스러운 한국 사람임에 다시 한번 감사드립니다. 대한 독립 만세! 대한 민국 만세! We're going to be talking about Samyo Jung. Samyo Jung, what are you? It's um, it's a protest for Koreans to get back their freedom from Imperial Japan. Who are you? Thirty-three religious leaders 
the people of Korea and one of them, the most popular, Yu Guang Su. Simon Jong, Onju Yo Yo, March 1st, 1919. Simon Jong, Ori Yo Yo. Ah! It started in South, South Korea and afterwards 30, almost 30 cities were taken over. Otokyo protesting for independence throughout Korea. Well, what? <laughs> what? Oh Japan took over. Japan decided want to take over Seoul, South Korea, also the whole of Korea, and decided want to take over. But the citizens stepped in. On March 1st of 1919 began the start of a long fight to regain independence in Korea. The March 1st movement was an act of independence to try to overthrow the Japanese government that has taken Korea. The Japanese police and soldiers who were stationed there acted nasty towards the people and had no mercy towards them. After nearly 10 years, after Japan had taken rule over Korea, 33 brave leaders who wanted to get their country back wrote a Korean proclamation of independence, then organized a demonstration in Seoul that soon spread throughout the country. The Japanese had suppressed the movement 12 months later after approximately 2 million Koreans had participated in over 1,500 demonstrations. About 16,000 were wounded and over 7,000 were killed by the Japanese p police and soldiers. Approximately 46,000 people were arrested, though only 10,000 of those were tried and convicted. One famous person who took place in this act was Guan Sun Yu, who had been called the nation's sister. At 17, she was participating in a rally to fight for independence when the Japanese military arrived and fired on the unarmed protesters, killing 19 people, including her parents, while she was arrested. The military offered a lighter sentence for admitting her cooperation in fighting other protest collaborators. She refused and would not speak even after being severely tortured. The, after this, she was then trialed, and despite her attempts of a fair trial, was found guilty of sedition and, fair, and security law violations and received a five-year sentence. Her continuing support for independence, even in prison, resulted in her being tortured and severely punished. During a large-scale protest with her inmates, she passed in the hands of Japanese authorities. Though the movement failed to bring independence back to Korea, it was a significant piece in strengthening the nation and is still celebrated throughout the country every year. The movement started on March 1st, 1919. At this point, Korea had been under the Japanese rule for almost a decade, and the former Korean emperor had recently died, possibly due to Japanese poisoning. During this movement, up to 2 million Koreans participated in more than 1,500 separate protests across, across the country over the course of several months. In the process, over 7,000 people were killed, 45,000 were wounded, and 49,000 were arrested. When we talk about the March 1st movement, some big names come to mind, like Yu Guan Sun, who is known for leading some protests against Japanese colonial rule. At the time of the movement, Yu Guan Sun was only 16 years old. She was a student at a girls only school far away from her home in Seoul. When the streets erupted in protests, she went out to join. Considering the brutal suppression that the Japanese employed against these protests, it was extremely brave for her to join. Four years later, she once again joined the 10,000 other students in chanting the slogan, the Tehan Tongi Manse or Long Live Korean Independence. A few days later, the Japanese shut down the schools because of the protests. Yuan Sun took the train back home to Chonan, but instead of just staying there, she rallied up her neighbors to amplify the protests in Seoul. For the next month, she sent her, spent her days unifying Christian and Confucian and handing out handmade Korean flags for protesting. On March 1st, 1919, Yuan Sun 
and 3,000 other Koreans and China took the streets. The Japanese police started to fire at them. Yu Wen-sun's parents were killed right in front of her eyes and she was arrested. Since she was only a minor, the Japanese offered to let her go if she gave them information, but she refused and got imprisoned. Her courage was unbothered and she indicated that the Japanese were the real criminals at her own trial. On March, March 1, 1920, to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the movement, she and all of her inmates organized a demonstration. The prison halls were echoing with the slogan, Tehan Dongni Manche, or Long Live Korean Independence. As a consequence, she was placed as a, in a solitary conf confinement in an underground prison, prison cell. There, she was brutally tortured over the next few months. On September 28, 1920, she died as a result of torture at a young age of 17. So why did you choose to sacrifice her young life, especially when there was a way out? The answer? Freedom. The basic desire of a person. What better weapon against tyranny than the idealism of young passionate minds? It was also significant that you unified Christian and Confucian ministers in the struggle for freedom. We might have different religions and beliefs, but in the end, we are all human and we can stand up for each other. I think Yu Guansun demonstrates that it is perfectly possible for everyone, everyone to work together when defending the human necessi necessity of liberty. It is also important to note that Yu Guansun was not alone in her bravery. There were thousands of other Korean students who matched her bravery, but the, their names and contributions have been lost to history. Of course, there were thousands of adults involved in this as well. Because of these sacrifices, the contributions and contributions of provisional government in exile for a new Korean Republic was formed in Shanghai, continuing the journey for independence. Hi, today we will be talking about the March 1st Movement, also known as Samuel Jar. So let's get started. The March 1st movement was an important, famous, and peaceful protest in the early 1990s in Seoul, Korea. The March 1st movement was started by Koreans that wanted independence from the Emperor of Japan. Unfortunately though, most of the Koreans that participated sacrificed their lives. For example, Yu Guan Sun. Yu Guan Sun was a young protester, but sadly she was arrested and was taken to an isolation cell. Yu Guan Sun died on September 28, 1920, when she almost was 18. She died by injuries like beatings and torture, but those sacrifices went for nothing because on August 15, 1945, Koreans finally got their independence when Japan surrendered in the Pacific War. In total, about 7,500 people were killed by Japanese police and soldiers, 715 private houses, two schools, and 47 churches were burned down by fire, and 46,000 were arrested. Also known as Sam Il Jo, was important because a protest because Koreans wanted independence. It ended on August 15, 1945. The Koreans got the freedom they wanted when Japan surrendered during in the Pacific War and also burned 47 churches and two schools by flames. It started in March 1st, 1919, but, but sadly, 7,500 died in the protest.
나라의 주권을 회복하기 위한 우리 선조님들께서 집단으로 용기 내어 대한독립 만세를 외쳐주셨기에 지금의 우리가 자유롭게 이 땅의 주인으로 살아갈 수가 있는 것입니다. 3.1절 다시 한번 용기를 내어 다함께 대한독립 만세를 외쳐주셨던 선조님들에 대한 지극한 감사함으로 3.1절을 맞이하기를 바랍니다. Thank you.